Paris Saint-Germain recorded back-to-back -back victories for the first time since the end of last season in week 11 and Laurent Blanc was hopeful to see a treble of league wins to keep pace with Marseille at the summit. Lorient received a boost in midweek, advancing to the last 16 of the Coupe de Ligue with a 2-1 win away to Evian, but with just three points from their past seven league outings, Lorient are only a point from the foot of the table. And Yohan Kabai was robbed early, but Jordan Ayew couldn't beat Salvatore Sirigu. Mistake from former Newcastle man. Good save with the legs by the Italian. Well, Kabai did better at the other end, laying the ball onto Lucas, who shifted onto his left. Over the crossbar is Benjamin Lacan. Just tipping it over. So it was Lorient then who were denied at the other end. I mean, Kone. Another smart save from Sirigu, but straight at the goalkeeper. But Lorient did take the lead. Ayu picked out beautifully on the left. Too much time and space from Aurier. A terrific run and finish from Rafael Guerrero. 20 year old Portuguese player's first goal for Lorient and ever present this season. Right inside Sirigu's far post. Well, awful look on the face of PSG's president Nasser El Khalafi. Complaints from Cavani as the capital side went into the break. A goal behind. Well, PSG hadn't lost here since 2008. In fact, it only suffered three defeats in their last 60 League 1 matches. From a Lucas corner, they must have thought they'd find the leveller. Terrific double save by Lecon. Denying first Serge Aurier. And then Thiago Motta on the follow up. It was the Italian international who started the move, though, that finally got Paris back on level terms. Cavani's initial effort saved. Lecon losing the ball. A delight for the Uruguayan returning after his red card for his goal celebration. And thankfully, was wary of the danger of imaginary guns shooting safely into the ground. Lavezzi making his first start for over a month after returning from injury, took a break and was replaced by Jean-Christophe Baybeck. Well, the young striker scored the leveller against Toulouse. This time, found the winner great pace to get on to Verratti's terrific long pass and a finish to match. Verratti also on as a substitute, the two combining to get Paris ahead. Well, a much improved second half performance getting the points for Paris now just one point behind Marseille ahead of their Champions League date on Wednesday.